Okay, people, before we get started, I would greatly appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to get notified. We drop new episodes of Forever News every Saturday, 12 p.m. EST, and throughout the week, we re-upload those segments into smaller bits for your viewing pleasure. So yeah, we can help both each other out if you would hit that subscribe, that bell, you get notified. We keep this ship going. Uh, I don't want to waste any more of your time. Let's get into it. We got some Boruto and Naruto related stuff going on. For starters, we got... Yeah, something that is just kind of like, god damn, is kind of newsworthy, I guess you would say. Because somebody over at Daily Dose of Anime did a calculation of where we're at right now with the Boruto anime in terms of what is manga material and what is anime only material. Some people still refer to it as filler, some people call it anime canon, whatever you want to call it, have a blast. It's Boruto anime, period, right? But according to this, it says 80% of the Boruto anime is filler episodes more than 200 out of 270 boruto episodes are filler basically not adapted for the manga and that is i i can't even begin to explain how bad that is like yo dog i and i gotta stand on this one in terms of the boruto experience and whatnot minus the episodes we got in 2021 the world which coincidentally are mainly from the boruto manga i'm really more so rocking with the boruto manga moving forward like from time to time when the anime comes back to the greatness of adapting really cool stuff or even when they make original stuff sure i'll be on it but i gotta really rock for what's really awesome and that's the manga stuff the manga stuff is really what makes shit pop but this is bad like i've seen some stats like i think naruto shippuden was about like a 50 or 60 percent fillerish which is still horrible absolutely horrible but in comparison to this this is one of the other reasons why people don't really care for boruto just keeping it real this is one of the reasons why boruto is is where it's at right now in terms of the anime fandom because nobody wants 80 percent of their anime to be straight up filler or tv original like they want what they've read in the manga or they want that really juicy stuff that kind of advances the plot along this right here is no bueno and granted you know there's still going to be really awesome moments to come and when they come i will you know let you guys know hey it was awesome but 80 percent 80 percent in comparison i don't have the exact stat but i can assure you like one piece is anime no more than 20 percent and i might be absolutely over exaggerating it might be 10 percent it might even be five percent i'm not sure but one piece is anime filler wise majority of the anime is canon and it's a high majority at the very least 70 30 is canon and because early on they added a little bit more filler than they have in recent times like you'll get maybe like a three to four episode filler arc to like promote the movie or something like that but it's mainly anime canon granted the one piece anime has its own problems i'm not saying that by any means it's like you know the greatest thing in the world like the pace wise is a very big issue that has plagued one piece especially post time skip but yeah one piece in terms of you know the anime canon to filler you know ratio whatnot is massively different and that's why you know a lot of people they'll still say okay you know I'll rock with the one piece anime there's you know a good chunk of straight up canon there's not much filler but boruto is the exact opposite and i'm just really really hoping that even if hypothetically speaking post time skip they decide to come back and they're like boom it's still gonna be straight up ongoing you get an episode a week maybe they decide you know what let's put this boruto z boruto she put in on a bi-weekly schedule and jump plus or a weekly schedule in shonen jump i'm gonna imagine that the best that we can probably get is a bi-weekly situation and jump plus that way it will give more content to kind of add into the anime and just in general make things more smooth and a big rebrand is in order there's nothing more to be said i'm not going to debate about this this isn't up for discussion for crying out loud when sure tv tokyo and shueisha their pockets are great because they're saving a lot of money on producing this and yet they're still banging out an episode every week but on the long play and in terms of for the fans it's not good at all so yeah hopefully we get something else to shake because we need to turn that 80 20 to at the very least like i don't know 40 60 or something for crying out loud this is this is bad but hey what can you expect from a series that releases a monthly manga 
are being adapted into a weekly anime. It's not even like a seasonal thing. Maybe if it was seasonal, it would be a little bit more fair game, but yeah. And while we're on the topic of the Boruto Naruto verse, we got here that Naruto's 20th anniversary project will be revealed weekly. So they're not going to give it to us all at once. And the first project is Naruto's official website will be revealed on October 3rd. And then, oh, the next announcement will be October 10th, which is Naruto's birthday. Interesting. All Boruto info will be added on there as well. So you can expect whatever announcements to be coming out around that time. I can assure you if there's anything major, I might even do like a breaking news midweek on here of an official, you know, exclusive video like, hey, this is coming out. I don't know what it could be that would really make me jump out of my chair other than like a spinoff series or them announcing, hey, Boruto Z is incoming or something crazy like that. Like that'll probably get me to go like, yeah, let's do it. But yeah, basically this Naruto 20th anniversary thing, they're going to milk it for all it's worth. And every week we'll get an announcement starting with that Naruto's official website will be coming out October 3rd. And then the announcements will be on that website. So yeah, Boruto and Naruto fans, you got 80% of filler in Boruto and you got weekly Naruto 20th anniversary announcements coming on the website starting October 3rd. Yeah. Eden's Zero fan. So in case you don't know, we've been waiting for that season two, dog. We got season one of the anime and it's been a bit now. And right after, I mean, like it was damn near like an hour or two after I released the episode of Forever News last week, they graced us and blessed us with, hey, here's a trailer for season two. It says here, Eden Zero second season teaser TV lifted, TV anime second season unveiled and broadcast on MTV and TV, not MTV, from April 2023, Draken Joe stands in the way of Shiki, Rebecca, and Happy. Shiki's fate is... Everyone, please look forward to the follow-up report. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, there was a little bit of a touchy time where it was, I guess, unclear what was going to happen with the future of Eden Zero because the original director, if I'm not mistaken, of Season 1 had passed. So a lot of people were in limbo, like, okay, are they going to continue Eden Zero with a different director? But it seems as though they're going forward in a major way. And we already got a second season trailer and i'm ready for it i mean granted it will be coming april 2023 in japan we realistically probably ain't getting that shit till like i don't know the end of the year or the beginning of next oh my god yeah we might not even see this shit i just thought about it until like 2024 because if it's coming april 2023 and the netflix jail stops it from being like released weekly on the app or anything like that it's basically gonna be like a whole freaking six months at the very least we probably won't get eden zero C season two over here on streaming services legally anyway until like november december of 2023 if not january of 2024 god damn there was some comments recently made by the author of hajime no ippo the boxing series legendary classic series whatnot that i felt i wanted to share with you guys because it was very inspirational especially if you're like somebody that is an artist that you kind of struggle sometimes to feel like man i'm doing it wrong this right here might give you a little bit of pep in your step. Let's read. There was an event that reminded me of when I was a newcomer. By the way, it's George Morikawa, the artist, author of Hajime no Ippo. There was an event that reminded me of when I was a newcomer. It's been nearly 40 years since my debut, but I still don't really understand how to draw manga. I'm writing this in hope that it will reach newcomers. It's okay to fail. I'm just accumulating reflections of 40 years. You have to draw, draw, and reflect. I once asked Tetsuya Chiba to publish a manga textbook. The answer came back, I don't know because manga is difficult. When I met Mr. Takumi Nagayasu, he said, I think I finally understand how to use the G-Pen. That's all. No matter how experienced you are, you're always groping in the dark. It's a task that probably has no answer and is neither perfect nor complete. There is a landing point called compromise. A popular writer who is said to be successful then challenges the greats of history to a battle however i am proud of young people who can use the latest tools and can even self-produce it is impossible to keep winning without end by the time you think you have grasped something it is the end of your life in the first place comics are not shallow things that can be learned in one or two times in a person's life we live to lose that's why it's okay to lose it's okay to fail don't be afraid to draw more and more and shout out to george morikawa that even though i'm not you know an uh, artist per se in terms of drawing shit 
um, that was very inspirational and very thoughtful of him to even think about like, yo, up and coming artists, like here's my perspective, here's my thoughts, like you, it's okay to fail, like just shout outs to George Morikawa. I read his author comments all the time and rarely do I got anything to say on them because it'll be like the most random thing, but that right there, respect. I have a dream alone in my room as I sit with the tea, couldn't possibly think what I often see, and you don't even know how I often blink, lights be flashing and looking at me, such an odd unique, yet I'm so unique and you looking at me, if the walls could talk they would probably be bleak and I'd probably say bitch get the fuck off me